Hello everybody, this is Prison Theme and welcome back to Might and Magic 7 where we finished the tutorial island and now we can get to the actual meat of the game. So, let me just check something. Yeah, we still need to level up. So, as I was saying, I'm probably going to be playing this game much more my way. I'm not going to be explaining the... Uh, I'm not going to be explaining the... Me mechanics as much as I was explaining them in Mind Magic 6 because they're basically the same So you are probably going to be stuck with me just playing this game the way I play it and hopefully give you some insightful commentary Something you can giggle at at points. Do you have leather armor already? Yes, you do. Okay So I need to learn chain and plate armors with my Warrior and my cleric. So what I want to do is I want to go straight into Arathia if there's a carriage today, I hope there is. And get that skill. Traveling today. Talarian Forest, Traveling today. no. Traveling today. Arathia, there we go. Coach. Coach. Reason why I'm going to Arathia is because while you learn skills in shops, you don't have the same skills at, you know, certain shops. Um, I pretty much butchered that one, but that, this is what I mean. The weapon shops in let's say the Telarian Forest do not teach you, I don't know, let's say Axe, for example, whereas in Arathia they do. And the reason why we went to Arathia is because the Armorsmiths here teach you the Chainmail, which we are going to teach our Cleric, and plate mail, which we are going to teach our Knight. And we're also going to wear them. There we go. A nice set of chain, nice set of plate. That is a good thing, we actually got plate armor very, very fast. I'm really happy about that. Um, any special weapons we can buy? Weapon. This shop usually has some good swords, like this 3d3 plus 9. Should I buy this? You know what, might as well. We're gonna be dual wielding sooner or later. Need a new weapon? I think they have a dagger we can use as well. So we're gonna buy that as well. Small power-ups, nothing weapon. special, but I have the money, so, you know, why Thanks. not. Come again. Traveling today? And now we're gonna go back to Harmondale. And we are going to clear out our house, actually. Um, well, because it was infested with goblins. So this is our castle. As you can see, it loves, it looks tiny compared to, for example, I don't know, the church. Even the training hall. So I have no idea how this was supposed to be a castle, but you know, hey, it's a game. I just have to, you know, watch out that I don't bump my head on the arch. Anyway, let's go. So, first things first, we get stopped by the butler. Ah, the new lords, please excuse the condition of the castle. It's been a while since anyone has taken proper care of it. I would have greeted you indoors, but for the goblins. A small tribe of them has moved inside. I've asked them to leave, but they won't listen to me. They were quite rude, as a matter of fact. Perhaps you could talk to them. I'll be in the On the House Tavern here in Harmondale, should you manage to convince them to leave. I shall convince them to leave, my good friend. Um... So, let's go in. So, as you can see, the uh, the castle was not really well kept in a good state. Then again, what can you do when goblins move in? And rats. I'm gonna go just a bit closer. I'm gonna cast Torchlight and Wizard Eye. And the reason why I'm in... Uh, the reason why I'm actually in turn-based mode is... When I go inside and if I expect, you know, enemies to be in the, uh, exactly, uh, behind the door, or right, uh, right behind the door, um, I like to get, you know, a sort of, uh, sort of idea of how many I'm actually going against. We have a cure disease potion, I think, which is a good thing because now we can abuse something. I don't know, should we abuse it now or should we... I'm, I'm actually gonna abuse it later. You'll see what I mean. I have one cure disease potion and it's gonna be really useful for what I'm about to do. For some extra loot. 
Oh, I guess it's not gonna be all that useful because I still would have been able to just, you know, get the loot and then heal myself off uh, a. Uh, ooh, what's purple? I think purple is accuracy, right? No, it's speed, even better. Uh, orange better on that's intellect. That is not even a question. We need it on our wizard uh, sorcerer. Sorcerer. No. It's disarmed. Thankfully, we've leveled up disarm trap. It's disarmed. So this, th these things you do not blow in our face. Trash. Reagent. So this is, these are actually the first two goblins I had to kill. I only had to deal with uh, you know, rats and bats so far. Let's see, what's here? A rat barrel, that's might. I want knight to be mited and my thief to be mited. Hmm, the thief needs some more speed. So yeah, unfortunately there's not a uh, there's no such thing as a Shrine of the Gods in uh, in Mind Magic 7 as it was in Mind Magic 6. So there's not really a way for us to get super super powerful for the early stages. Um, I would like to say that this game in general is easier than Might and Magic 6 though, so I don't expect trouble to be honest. Orange Barrel. In the beginning I'm going to have to be a bit careful about who I give things to, you know. Because some classes need stuff more than other classes. Let me just heal. On the way, I'm not even gonna bother peeking, peeking, picking, peeking, picking those up, because they just help, don't have anything on them except for you know the odd grain and whatever. But I don't expect them to be enchanted anyway. Grow them. Nearly done. Just this wing left, actually. With the dining room. The annoying thing about the goblins here is that they actually have ranged. Uh, they actually have ranged uh, attacks. That is annoying. And since we're such a low level, they actually tend to hit for a fair amount of damage as well. Especially if we get, you know, like what are they, the goblin lords. One more. There we go. Luckily, we have some spells to help us out, like the Firebolt. So Firebolt is actually much much more useful um, in uh, in this uh, game than in my Magic Six. I want to rest somewhere. Actually, don't want to risk it. Let me just recast my buffs and clear out the last room and we're done! Oops. Thank god I rested because my thief was on like... well he was in the red basically and this red just took a fair amount of HP off him. So that was good. He just ate an apple. 
Accuracy. Give me some more accuracy. I think that's it. There's a barrel there. Some more accuracy. You know what? I'm gonna give it to my sorcerer. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to dig through all the trash in this uh, in this place, and I'm gonna get, get diseased oh. from I think pretty much all of them. Oh. But I'm going to dig through the trash with one character only which means I'm only gonna get diseased with that My one character and as you can see I'm getting fairly good items I'm getting steel chain mails um, no luck with weapons yet oh I just made a mistake so I actually got diseased with two of my characters which is not good it's not what I planned at all <laughs> fortunately uh, miss clicks. Then just check out that wing. I don't think there's any trash here. Nor there. Any trash here? No, no trash here. This is the door to the same room. Well, unfortunately, we didn't get anything we could use. But this is what I what I wanted to do. So, an orange potion in this game is cure disease. And I basically just wanted to cure her of her diseases, but... Unfortunately, I ducked her trash with my thief as well. Here's a funny thing. I think, I'm not sure though, uh, because I never use them. I think that goblins in this game are either immune to disease or are immune from getting diseased with... Oh, nice, a cure disease potion. There we go. And I'm going to take this, this letter to Herbal. Her Herbal? Herbal. Herbal. And take this letter to Herbal. Um, anyway, wh what was I saying? Oh yeah, I think that the goblins in this game are either immune to diseases or you can't be diseased by, you know, rummaging come around come the here. trash and things like that. Now, I'm not 100% sure about this, Enjoy your stay. but, you know, there's like a voice in the back of my mind that's saying, you know, that's the same. Ah. That's an interesting thing. Yeah, accuracy plus eight. I have accuracy plus three. Nice. Um, sell all the rest because I don't need them. Uh, there we go. Anything you want? Thanks a lot. Oh yeah, and I forgot to read what uh, he said. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna take his quest. My lords, it is. It, I was beset by foul bandits when I returned from Avli, and they took everything I brought with me from the elves. They even took my signet ring. Without it, I cannot continue my business because I cannot seal contracts between myself and other merchants. I've heard the bandits base themselves out of a camp in Arathia, but I'm no warrior. I'd not last a minute against them. Please go to Arathia and see this justice done. We'll do that, Mr. Palladium. Palladium? Pal palladium? Come in, come in. Palladium. I think palladium is going to be the right one. Uh, sell the rest. See anything you want? And I forgot to read the butler's quest to you guys, so you know what's going on. Basically, what we need to do now is we need to repair our castle, and we need to do that, or at least the butler has an idea of how to do that. We need to come into contact with the dwarves of Barrow Downs. They are well, basically they are able, um, as a word I'm looking for, craftsmen and builders and everything, so... Like, do you have repair item yet? Oh, you do have repair item already. I thought you didn't have it. As a matter of fact, I do. Iron Master level 4 and then just go straight into repair item. What I'm going to do with you? Should I give a stealing already or should I go for leather? I should go gonna go for leather first and then level up stealing last. Even though I'm not I, like I said, I don't actually use the stealing skill in this game because I think um, you know the consequences of an of an unsuccessful theft is very very bad for you. So I'm gonna go for leather with you because I have fire magic and air magic expertise basically. Hmm. Get dagger and sword and body magic. Suddenly, I have a lot of things that I have to do. 
I think we have s like staff and leather here and this house has unarmed and dodging. Uh, I think I'm gonna find expert sword in Erathia. But you know what, first things first. Let's go to... I think there's actually the body magic expert teacher here. Is that possible? I think there's somebody that teaches me body magic here. Master Archer, so that's the second promotion for the Archer. And there we go, Body Magic Expert. That guy's found in Tatalia, Body Guild Membership, Monk Training. This is not the guy that gives me the... Oh, and the Spirit Magic Expert. Good, 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 good. Unfortunately, I don't have Spirit Magic Level 4 yet. I went to Merchant 4, uh, that's the way I like to do it. Hmm. So next, okay, basically we pretty much destroyed the goblins, at least in our uh, in our castle. Now, however, I'm going to probably you know just spend the time clearing the outside of Harmondale. Get some more chests outside, so that's good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. We may actually start doing promotion quests soon as well. I'm gonna die. You're not gonna die. Come on. You're a cleric. Heal yourself. Ow. 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 Hmm. Should we actually go for quests? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this, you know, in between episodes because clearing out the things, not really all that fun, to be honest. Well, it is for me, I guess. It's kind of, it's kind of boring watching me do it because I get into like this, I don't know, zen state while I mow down the goblins and whatnot. I'm pretty much done already, though. The camps in this game are. Not nearly as, as large as in my Magic 6. I think I accidentally killed something. Oh no, it's okay. Everything's fine, I don't need to suicide yet. So yeah, I think I, I, I tried to explain this in character creation, but if I had a Dwarven party member uh, in this place, the goblins and whatnot would basically beeline their damage on that one character, and that is really annoying in the beginning. Like, it doesn't matter when you're like level 50, um, but still, you know. All the goblins gangbanging onto one poor dwarven member of your party is just annoying. That's the reason why I, you know, play with four humans because they, they're pretty much the best all-arounders. I guess dwarves aren't bad as well. If you're looking for, you know, a general balanced party, elves aren't good as warriors and goblins aren't good as spellcasters. Which doesn't mean that you can't do it because you know it doesn't matter if you're a goblin if you have one hundred. Uh, might or if you're a human and have 100 might it's basically the same just you know, in, the beginnings in. are a bit different Enjoy your stay. what else do i need to do now you know what I, i'm actually gonna go and start hunting for some more today? some more Travel teachers actually so yeah i'm gonna go to Talarian forest and i'm gonna get expert air and expert fire magic which will give me access to some more powerful spells. I'm still going to be sticking with Firebolt though. Mostly because it's a cheap spell and I don't have the mana points or spell points, whatever you want to call them, to cast the higher spells yet. Okay, so the water magic expert is here as well. There we go. Oops, wrong one. I'm gonna pick up some more herbs around here, 
Because these these rolls petals, they aren't worth much, but there are certain mushrooms, the island toadstools, that are worth 500 gold pieces. Or at least their value is 500. I don't have the merchant skill yet to do that. I thought there was one more somewhere. Oh, I, I, I did pick up two. I can never remember whether it's two or three toadstools around. Maybe maybe it, it's it's different sometimes, but I don't know. Oh yeah, and the horseshoes. I can't believe I forgot about the horseshoes. My favorite food on the planet. Horseshoes. Oops. I don't know how that happened. I took the letter, um, letter to Hairball. And I need to show you the contents. It's not really a quest, it's just sort of a nice nifty little thing. That I always do. Because of it. Okay, so, merchant expert, you don't have enough gold. What in 2000? I mean, expert air magic was 1000. Looking for something special? Yes, your money. I'm looking for your money. Please give me all your money. So there we go. Elvish toast tools are, are have a value of 500. So that's 180 gold pieces for each. Thank you for your patronage. That's good. There's actually something else we can do in this place. Um, we can sort of upgrade our bows, and the thing is, right, the thing is, each area in Might Magic 7 specializes in a different type of weapons, and the elves in general specialize in bows and spears, as is evident by their weapon selection. And you could get very good bows here, and spears as well. You could get even better bows and spears in Avli, which is the quote-unquote higher area of the elves. Um, but we're going to get three free bows that are really, really good. And we're gonna keep the longbow on our knight. It's gonna be a bit tricky, so I don't know if I will fight the trees. And yes, you heard me right. Angry trees in my Magic 7. I don't know if I'm gonna fight them, to be honest, because it seems to be taking quite a while. So maybe I'm just gonna run around. The bows are pretty much um, somewhere here in between all the trees, so I hope I'll manage to survive. There goes nothing. So there's one bow. There's one reagent. I'm gonna heal in between. I think one bow somewhere That's around here. No? There are supposed to be three bows. I'm pretty sure there are three bows. Yep. Yes, I know it's an owie. I know it's an owie, I'm a bad driver. Sorry. Is there one bow here? Ah, there we go. The last bow. So this is another quick power-up that you can do. It's always the same type of bows. So we got... we get two out of the long bows? Didn't we get three? I thought we got three. So yeah, we can get... you can get two Elven long bows, and an Elven long bow is 5d2 plus 4, which is a... Well, it's actually quite a big bump, big bump in damage compared to the 5d2 plus, uh, plus 0 or plus 2. Um, let me just... Go one more round and see if there's another bow here. We did get a nice pile of money from it as well, though. Wow, well, there goes my cleric. Unfortunately. Ah, I knew there was another bow. It was just here. So there we go. Three new bows. That is gonna be excellent. <laughs> I can't believe we survived the man-eating forest. So, let me just, oops. Let me just uh, rearrange all my items. There we go. So now we have some more things. 
get a slight power up in our damage. We'll get 2,000 more gold pieces. What can we do with that money? Hmm? What can we do with that money? I think there's an expert dagger teacher here. There's either an expert or a master teacher here. I can't remember, honestly. Where are you, though? Oh, that's disarm trap. Nice. Didn't expect that, but you know, it's good. Mm, it's not gonna be here. I know that it's not gonna be here. Hmm. Maybe it's uh, no. I think it's here. Is it here? There we go. Oh, I need two thousand gold pieces. I guess it could rest. I'm just gonna rest. Then I'm gonna sell my uh, my bows. I don't think that's gonna be enough, though. Fine elfish weapon. It shouldn't be, actually. No, not nearly enough. Hmm. Bummer. Thank you for your patronage. What should I do now? Oh, I'm getting lags again. It's it's a what is it? A close to twenty year old game, and I'm getting lags. Like, what is my computer agent? Uh, but you know, it happens. It's probably because of the recording software. I have no reason why it does this, but uh, it's annoying. Thankfully, nothing's going on. Let me just check if there's any boxes or chests around here. I, I'm never sure with uh, with this place, to be honest. Oh, but there is one thing that I can do. Uh, I mentioned earlier that they there aren't any Shrine of the Gods type uh, shrines in Might Magic 7. However, the the pilgrimage shrines are a lot better in Might Magic 7. The reason being you can visit them at any time of the year and they have they all give you a bunch of different uh, stats and I'm going to demonstrate this right now. So there we go. Boom. So this is a once per year uh, bonus to my water, fire, air and earth resistances. On year one you get, I mean the first time you visit it you get a plus 10 increase. Um, each subsequent year you visit them you get a plus 2 increase I think. So that's good. But yeah, unfortunately I don't think I'll be able to get the money that I need. By just running around here. <gasps> There's a toadstool. Maybe that's gonna be enough. And I'm just going to visit this obelisk. And here's another cool thing about Mind Magic 7 that they did. Um, lumps of ore. Now, these are actually used to create items. Now you don't create them yourself, you have to visit a an NPC that does it for you. And I'm just going to touch this obelisk. I don't usually, you know, get well, better stuff per se. I usually get, you know, stuff that are the same strength that I have or lower, but it's a good thing, you know, sometimes you get lucky off, for off of uh, the, uh, the items you create with this. You know what, I'm gonna sell this Awaken and I need two friggin gold pieces. Thank you for your patronage. Ugh, I'm gonna pick up two roses, I guess. I really want that expert dagger, to be honest. Because if I get expert dagger, that means I can dual wield my dagger and then just that just basically pumps my uh, that pumps my damage and chance to hit much higher with my uh, thief. That's Looking good. For something special. So it's actually quite a significant significant Thank bonus. You Thank you for your patronage. You're very welcome, my elven friend. Oops. That's the wrong way. Whew, there we go. So we have Dagger Expert and now we need Sword Expert and that one's in Arathia. So we're probably gonna go to Arathia to be honest. Uh, we're gonna do that, that next episode though. I think this was fine for now, you know. Just get a little taste, you know. Basically Mind Magic 7 is this large pool and we basically just, you know, sort of put our toe in. 
so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed uh, i was chris and theme if you liked this episode please like and subscribe if you have any questions leave them in the comment section and i will see you here next time bye bye